Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I am coming to you with a different video today. Sorry for the glare. So um, I received this package from uh, Wendy, from Wendy's Journal Adventures. And she asked me if we wanted to do a little collaboration. And well, let's say it's a little collaboration challenge. And so um, she sent me five items. Well, there's more than five. But she sent me some items to do a five item challenge um so please choose any five of the items in this clear bag to make ephemera or whatever inspires you you may use more than five items and you may make more well i'm going to stick to the five items and i thought i would i haven't even looked in here yet um wendy has my parcel so we thought today we would do our video and we're posting it at the same time so I'll link Wendy's um, channel down below so you can go and see what I sent her. I'm going to have to go and see what I sent her as well because I can't remember <laughs> what I sent her. So funny. Anyway, I have memory like a sieve. I should have written it down. So I'm going to keep that. Oh. Oh, I can make more than one item. Have fun, love. Wendy. Okay. So, oh, she, oh, such interesting. Oh, gosh, challenging me, Wendy. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, so many cool things. Okay, so ideology butterflies. Um, their transparencies, are, are they stickers? Um, or do you rub them on? I don't know. Anyway, we'll work it out. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, what are these things? So I've got little bags. Oh, I've never seen those before. Self-adhesive label holders. Cool. And then I've got uh, little bags, cool. And then, of course, I can use the glassine bags. So interesting, Wendy. I don't think I sent you things like this. Now, these are little specimen things. I've seen Wendy use those. Oh, they're cool. And I've never used them before. Let's gather up. So I've got to choose five. Oh, gosh, these sorts of things. I never use these things. I'll put these in one of my little dishes. Just a sec. Take out the few things that are in there. I'll tip those into there. Are they brads? Oh, if they are, they're really cool. Brads and safety pins. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Never saw those before. Okay, cool. I love this, Wendy. Things that I don't get here. I just love all oh, those bags. Those are they jewelers bags? Oh, I love those. And that can be torn off. So cool. Okay. And then, oh, cute little um, snippets. I need the other dish. I've got things in there. Where will I put them? Um, I'll tip them into my little glue holder. Okay, it's like, switch the dish. I'm going to tip those in there. So I've got to make a decision, don't I? Oh, I wasn't sure exactly what the rules are but it was used five items but i don't know if it's only five items i don't think so because you need to have have other things as well but choose five five items and make things with them okay and i'll have to get a little pouch for those oh i like these ones wendy because they're not too um probably gone off screen they're not too um thick you know some of the tim holtz ones are really thick which i'm not mad about okay so i've got to choose five items and i've got to make some ephemera or something with them okay so one two three four five six seven eight items here well i'm going to choose these i definitely want to choose these I'm going to choose those. I'm going to choose maybe these little bags. That's four. Um, I think. I'm thinking of making something, putting something in there. I might choose these bags. Should I choose these? 
Maybe not, will I choose the big bags? Big bags. Okay, I'm going to put these. Well, then I've got those. Well, maybe I won't choose those. I'll choose those next time. I'm going to choose the big ones. Okay, this is... Okay, I'll put the other things aside because I'll use those next time. I'll have one, two... I oh know, two, three items. But I can reuse some of the things that are here as well. Okay. So, what will I do? I'm going to need to have a base to make something with. So, I'll probably use some some book pages so i'm going to start with book page that's my normal go-to is start with the book page um so how is everyone i hope you are i've got oh i've got stuff up here why don't i just use what's in my scrappy but i now have a scrappy box and a scrappy basket because i'm out of control that's not what is it um oh here's a nice piece of book page i'll put that there I have no idea what I'm going to make, but it's my five item challenge. Obviously, you need to use more than five items because um, I um, need to have a base for things. Oh, I've glued it on the wrong side, so I have to put it. I have to switch up and put it over here. Right. Oh, and it helps if you get enough glue on things. Okay, now I'm going, what I was thinking was I might put one of these on the bag. I just want to see how they are and how they work. I've never seen these before. Do they stick? Aren't they wonderful? don't think they're sticky. Transparent elements that can be added to vignettes, paper dolls for mixed media projects. Transparent things. But they're not sticky. So I guess if I glue it, will it stay? Or maybe I won't use it there. Okay, I might just put some pretty paper here and um, put it on because I don't know how well that would stick on um, glassine because it's plastic. So. I'm going to glue it to paper and hopefully it will stay. And I'm having another idea with it. So um, this is fun, Wendy, because if anyone's bought those things, maybe it can be a little bit of inspiration um, as well. So I've put that there. I'm going to just prepare myself a tag base i want to use this old book page so not using too many things that you wouldn't you might not you might you know, you might have those things yourself that way you could if you had some of these things that wendy sent then you could um get inspiration or not because i might we might you know see what not to do that's always a possibility what not to do so i'm just going to glue this down i'm using my um book page as my base I could even use that book page maybe I'll do one with that book page I tend to like this paper here because it's got it's not quite the age of the the rag paper but it's very strong I don't know if that's straight or not so that's one option and let's do this one as well just to use it up I'll run some glue along there and fold it over. 
Now this is not as strong paper because this is 1900s, um, which is why I just glue on it because it's not as strong and it might even crack, but it's going to have multiple layers. Now I do want it to fit in the glassine bag. So I guess that'll work. Okay, so that's that. Now it's too big. And now we're going to put, um, we're going to reduce the size of it. I want it to, I don't want it to be so high out of my bag. And that one too. I know that one can stay that way. I'm not going to use those now. I'll have to find a container for those, as I said. Okay, so I'm going to put some backing on these. And I'm just going to grab, I've got plenty of papers here, some sort of plain paper to put on the back, not in there. paper on the back I'll just do it on the same on both so that way um, that way you know we don't take too long looking for things and I'm sure other ideas will come but we'll probably do more than one video with the items because you know ideas do come as you sort of do things and you think oh I should have done that sort of thing so well it does definitely happen to me as most of you know and quite often, um, those of you who know me, uh, I don't start a video knowing what I'm going to do. And so we're all confused, myself included, until um, I could fold that over. How do I do that? See, this is what happens. I can never know exactly what's going to happen because it evolves as I go along. Oh, and did I ask everyone, how are you today? I hope everyone's well. It's lovely weather here. It's like 20 some, low 20s and um, low 20s and cold in the morning, which I like. So I think Wendy's idea when she asked me um, was really just to send the five items and then you could use what you want of them. There wasn't a rule that you had to use all five items because um, otherwise she wouldn't have written you can use all or not. I don't know why I like to glue on top of my scissors. It's quite difficult. It's a very quick way to get your tag or journal card base going. Right. Excuse me. Excuse me. I've got my bag there. I haven't decided if I'm going to put more decoration on it, and I have to do that one. Um, did I say I was using those? I did. But then I need the little things. So maybe, I don't know, I've got... One, two, no, one, two, three, if I take out those. Oh, four, I've got those as well. Um, no, I want to take those out because I wanted to use those with these, I thought, possibly. Although I could use them, maybe I'll use them. No, I will use them. Don't worry, change my mind. Okay, so my thought was I could put these on here. 
might have them as a sort of swing thing. Yeah. Oh, I like that one on there. I also thought they could be like a little pocket thing. I just don't know how well they're going to they're going to glue. Do you know, Wendy? Could you tell us? Because I've never used them before, so I just wonder how well they're going to glue um, down onto things. But I'm thinking. So I'd love to glue something like that on there. But I'm thinking I could brad them on. So I think what I might do is decorate these a little bit with something. And then that way I can have the brad. take a piece of this paper and glue it in there. I'm not getting very far, am I? Um, so I was thinking like that there. It's going to swing around. So I think I'm going to put some sort of decoration on the back, on the tag, not the back, on the tag. I might put a bird. I like that bird. Okay, I've got lots of space there, so I think I'm going to put a label as well. And I'm just sort of figuring it out as I go, because they're not normal things that I use. And so it's um, a bit of a struggle, I'll be honest. I think you can tell when I struggle try to be happy I try you know I try I hope that I'll be happy at the end I think I will but I have to struggle to get there first I'm having thoughts of layers is what's popping into my head is layer, layering things up Terrible. I glued it on the wrong side. I'll have to give it a wipe. Put my bird there. I'm just going to grab. Where do I put my wet ones? Here? I need to go and buy some more of those. Okay. So that's my bird. I've got all this space up here, so it needs a label of some description. I wonder what big when um not Wendy <laughs> Tracy labels I have I don't think I have I've got butterflies and and um, things on them so I don't think they really go with the bird and then the other ones are all a bit small so I want to grab a bigger one I'm thinking this one but not that size this size Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay. Ow! I've got a pin in there and I stabbed myself. I think I'll throw that pin out. It's had its day. I'm going to put that there. Oh, I like that. So I've made my base to be able to attach these things. I think I'll just come and use the, the wet glue around the edges. You can't see because I'm off screen, but um, so I don't get, you know, sticky all over the place.
Okay, so that's that one, and then we'll see. one now this one I wonder if I might like a bit of this I just want to add a bit more of something here yeah I like that and I wanted to see if maybe I would like a butterfly on there I'm not sure but I don't know I don't know how that how I'll get it to stick I'm not sure. Maybe it just sticks with, with you know, tacky glue. I don't know. I never used one. Or I could staple it. So this is... So that is very pretty on there. do like that I think I'm gonna put that there but I'll figure out how to stick it I'll try my Josho glue I don't want to stick it all down I don't think I just want to stick it a little bit we'll see we'll see if it will stick it is lovely could also oh I could have stuck one at the top have stuck it at the top of the thing like a tab sort of thing you see ideas come as you go um and i want to grab i just need i have this empty space down here now so i need to fill that because otherwise i won't be happy not that one bigger that is too big All the same. I'm trying to find that in terms. Some, see, sometimes I there, there are sizes that I use more than others, and so quite often I don't have this the intermediate one available. It's too small. curious to know if that is going to hold oh it feels like it we'll let it dry and see what happens worst comes to worst I'll just put a staple in it or I could use my hobuchi what's it called my you know the one without the staples that's going to go on there oh I do think that's nice so I've only used three items so far Is that correct? No, two items. What am I saying? I can't count. So, oh, I haven't used it on this one yet. So I was going to layer up here with something. I don't know whether I'll use this one or, or this, or maybe this one. And what I thought I might do, this might become a little bit like a, where you put um, scraps of paper, was my thought. trying to find oh dear nice piece of rag paper here will fit in there so kind of like a it's going to be like a bit like a um there's a tag at the back of it so it's all things it's going to be like things that you can pull apart and then use the bits and pieces And then at the back, you've got the, the journal card or tag. Oh, I know, I do have some 
double-sided oh do I? yes I do have some double-sided printed pages so I can tear these a little bit and add those not a good idea to rip it on slippery things appears to be sticking it does so I've got uh, let's focus on this one I've got to do this one I'm gonna put that that I'd like to have a few more pieces of paper it's totally odd comma uh, um, oh gosh I'm speaking Italian now totally odd as a project but it is what it is okay and did I oh well I could put the map I liked the map Oh, what about a piece of um, lovely it's always something nice to receive not there though it needs to go we'll separate some of these pages I'm just going to put a um, paper clip on there. Oh, it's overhanging more. And I'm going to grab my hole punch. And I can do I can do the big hole to about halfway. And so this is something in my thoughts that can um, that can be pulled apart and used. Okay. Turn that around. Cool. So we've got, look, and it swings around like that. We've got papers, and then at the back, you've got a tag. Can I stick that down properly? Now, that is going to go into the bag. That's going to sit in the bag, and now I need to put something on the bag. And I'm just thinking that that will not stick. But I've got these, so I was thinking then maybe I could have some sort of label in here and stick it on the bag. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? I love that. Oh, you're challenging me, Wendy. And I think here on the bag, I will stick a flower and a label. Those colours. Quite like that one. I'm going to put that one there. Cool. Now, and now I'm feeling happy. I'm starting to get the feel for these products that I've never used before except for the glassing bags I've used those before oh another idea is coming with the brads okay well we'll do that next time I'll have to write it down though because I'll forget and then I want to do something with this so I think I'll stick this on 
and I want to stick it over there. So I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to stick that there. And I want to put some sort of label in there that could be written on. So let me see how many, how big it is. It's about, oh, it's one inch wide. So I need to cut whatever I put in there down to a smaller size. One inch wide and nearly three inches long. that slide in. Someone's making a lot of noise. Oh, it's that way. Oh my goodness. So, okay, that doesn't matter. I need to cut this a little bit smaller. That's going to be fun. Oh, yes, that's so cool. I'll leave it a little bit. Oh, that's so there, so you push it out. Okay, well, then I can just trim. I might just trim that edge off. It looks crooked to me. I'll probably make it more crooked. Oh, I love these things, Wendy. These are wonderful. I love those. And what I thought I might do... Oh, I don't have Lulu's Ohuhu's, but I do have my Costas and things. I want I'll probably make a mess of it but what I want to do is draw a little border around it um, I don't want anything too thick <coughs> messy no that's not the right color I want a dark one making a bit of a mess of it but just it's just the idea I can change it I don't have to keep this one I want to do it double I've done two colors a bit of a mess will slide in there as a little label. Oh, I like that. Oh, fun. So how many things did I use? I didn't use that yet. But I do like that. Well, there's four items. I did kind of like to keep this to use with the other ones could put that up there. I kind of like the look of that up there. I'm going to do that. That's going to go up there. It's a very big tag. I'm going to put that up there. 
I'm going to, I think I might even staple it up there, but I need to put something in it. So, oh, what about, oh, they're not double-sided. I wonder if I'd like that in there. Or I could have some, oh, I could put something like that in there. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's get that. Uh, where's my scissors? Oh, I'm in a mess now. Oh, fun. I'm having fun. Now, I sort of need to... Oh, this was double-sided. Oh, well. Oh, well, that's good. We want it to be double-sided. So that way, um, I kind of need to... It won't be centered centered, but that's where I, what I want to do with it. So I need to put some glue. I'll need the... I think I'll use the quick drying. I'm going to put some glue around there. And there. And I might just mush a bit of glue around here. need to put this I haven't put the glue where the thing is I'm actually just going to go like this but then I need to actually oh dear this is not easy okay I'll put this here just on the edge there isn't it fun watching me struggle That'll do. I'm not going to mess about with it any. Okay, well, that's there. I think that's glued down. Let's put some more glue. Slippery things. I don't know how you do it, Wendy. And I do want to staple it. I think what gets me about these things is they're they're plastified, if you know what I mean. Like they, I don't know if my stapler will go through, um, but they've got like a a plastic coating. So I always wonder. I like that. I do too. I wonder whether um, that didn't go through so well, so we'll do that again. Um, things will stick to it. Well, this is the craziest tag I've ever made. Maybe not. There we go. That'll do. It'll have to do. It didn't go through again, but it's okay. We will survive and I'm going to put some washi tape on there. So nobody catches their finger and I might just grab another piece. Maybe I'll grab a different one. Where's that other one? And I think I'll stick that over the top. It's like a frame. There we go. That'll do. That will go there. I don't want to cover that. And that is that tag done. And this is stuck with the Giotto glue stick. Doesn't seem to be coming off. It's got a nice big tab on it. And we need to finish, do the bag. We haven't done the bag for it. So this is going to go in this bag and it should fit because I, oh, it doesn't fit now with the butterfly. Excuse me, butterfly. I'm going to, do I, I don't want to clip your wings. 
Hmm. I knew, I, ha I did know that that was a possibility, that I would not be able to slide it into the bag because of the wings. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to take a bit of the bag off. I might just slip, snip it down the sides. How far down do I need to go? Further. Have you ever, ever seen anything like it? Let's make it up as you go at its best. Okay, so that bit there. Do I want to take it off? Do I want to take that bit off? And just have a shorter bag. I could just fold it down fold that down yes I could I'm gonna fold that down and then I do want to use one of those again and nope. I think I want another butterfly that's cool that'd be cool if you stuck that on but and it's at the level of the other one Oh, I quite like that idea. Oh, I think I'm going to do that. Yes. Oh, first let's oh, take the tag out. I'm going to leave that there. This could actually be glued down then into as a, a pockety thing. I need to just, um, I need to grab a piece of paper and slide it in here so I can put plenty of glue on here and glue this down so it will stick. Okay, I like the fold down. And then I want to get some glue on my butterfly. I'm using the Giotto glue stick. I'm putting plenty in the central sort of part. I'm not gluing all of the wings. I'm only going halfway on the wings. See, it's about half. And, oh, I need to put my thing back in. And I'm gonna glue that there. So it kind of overlays the other butterfly. So when you take it out, you have the butterfly on the bag. And I don't think I'm going to put anything else on because I have, I can see that label, but I kind of wanted to use this one. I think I will put one of these on. They're very sticky. I love that they're completely transparent like that. Put that there and I wonder if we have any very narrow Tracy labels here that might fit. Oh, that one would fit, but it's not long enough. Something like that. This one. This one's going to be good. It's a little bit small, but I'm just going to stick it in there. So over the two projects, I think I've used five. I can't really count. I don't seem to be able to count today, so I'm not quite sure. Let's see what this one looks like. It's not quite big enough. But that's it. Oh, I like that. There we go. Something totally out of the box and different. Yeah, fun. It'll be going in a very big journal. I could hinge it. Oh, that's something that, like, that could be hinged on the front of something. Like, if you were to be making a journal, that could be hinged on the front. I don't have any on the go at the moment, but, well, I do have one, but it wouldn't it wouldn't suit that. But I've got this one, this book. No, it's not a journal, but, oh, I think that'd be so cool on the front of that book. Yeah, I really like that. So I would stick that on the front of the book. Whereas this you can just stick in the journal. So what have we used? We've used the, the label things. Uh, we used the glassine bag. We've used the transparencies. We've used a brad. And we've used that. So I think that's five. One, two, 
three, four, five. There we go. So that's my five item projects with the very cool items that Wendy sent me in the five item challenge. Obviously, we used uh, more than five items. I just um, used all of Wendy's items in um, the project, the all five in the project. So there's those. I hope I followed the rules, Wendy, and I made a tag at the back. So that's one of those things to pull apart with lovely bread in the back. I could even fit more because the bread is loose. And then I've used a glassine bag. I love the, sh the label holders. They're amazing. Um, and then over here we use this. And I actually think that looks really cool. I never used those before. I think I've got some more somewhere. I think, Wendy, you've sent me them before. And I was a bit... Um, wasn't quite sure what I would do with them. So we made the tag with the butterfly on it and then stuck a butterfly to match the one on the tag, kind of, um, on the front of the glassine bag and then another label. And I'm gonna stick that on the front of that journal one day when it gets made. I'm gonna put it up there so I remember. Uh, well, no, I need to photograph. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little video. Something different today and I'll probably do another video. So I'm gonna gather up Wendy's items and um and keep them together so that way i can use them again um and we'll probably um i think wendy said she'd like to do two videos so um yeah that'll be fun so thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye